Welcome to Noche Latina, an NBA celebration of Latin heritage. We're proud to bring it to you here at 2K Sports. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll be joined by Allie LaForce courtside. Allie, it's all yours. There are some super young teams around the league, but all-star Draymond Green said, quote, if you don't have vets around you, you're not really learning what you need to learn. I had guys who taught me how to be a pro, so I worry about that because cultures and things get lost. And eventually, if those go, our league will get lost too. Brian? Yeah, that's real talk. Thanks, Allie. And looking at both of these teams, Richard, both great passing squads, two of the better assist teams in the NBA. This is how basketball was intended to be played. A team offense making the extra pass, moving the ball. This is the type of basketball that basketball people love to watch. Yeah, it's a beautiful brand of ball for sure. Just a joy to watch. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've got Joel Embiid, Jared Vanderbilt out there with Tobias Harris. Then it's Maxi, and it's Harden in at the point. And for Orlando, Bancaro and Carter Jr. are down low. Filling out the wings, it'll be Suggs and Wagner. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Oh, they've got their eyes on him calling the foul right away. And here's Wagner. To the wing on the left. Pass to Carter. Inside, here's Suggs, clock at four. The Magic need to put one up here. Here's Henderson, pure from three-point range. Henderson. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. And if everything goes to plan, this could be a very fun matchup to watch. Now here's Harden. Last game with 30. Right wing, here's Embiid. Get some space and buries the jumper. Don't you forget, Harden won the assist title now. This man can pass that rock. Pass to Suggs. Here's Henderson. Here's Van Carroll. Wagner inside. Harris on him. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Harris with it, defended by Wagner. Back to Harris. Outside Harden. The three. It's hauled in by Henderson. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Now, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Outside Harden. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. Man, just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Now here's Harden for three. Maxi gets the three to fall. If that's what they want to do, get him open looks early. Pass to Suggs. Here's Henderson. To the left side wing. Tries the nine-footer. And Suggs the bucket on the assist from Van Carroll. I love the execution we are seeing thus far. Four shots and four makes. Harris with it. Defended by Wagner. Right side Maxi. That one falls. Maxi's got five points. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Up top, Harden. 
A great score, averaging almost 26 a game. Three-pointer. It doesn't go for him. Now Orlando takes it the other way. Pass to Carter. Here's Henderson. And here's Carter. Six to shoot. Wagner on the wing. Pounded by Harris. And it's Wagner missing. The 76ers have gone three of six from the floor. Harris outside. Outside Vanderbilt. Pass to Harden. The three is up. Knocks down the triple. This is Harden's mindset. Consistent at attacking and looking to shoot off the catch. Here's Henderson. Now here's Wagner. Oh, great D that time from Harris. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. And he lobs it up, and yeah, Vanderbilt it slams it in. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Here's Henderson, defended by Harden. Carter on the wing. Pass to Suggs. Let's it go from deep. They grab their own miss. Here's Van Caro. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Magic. Second team foul. At the line for the Magic. Paolo Bancaro at the line for one. Hey, it's an exciting time of year with the playoffs on the horizon. Grant, should teams start changing up their rotations with the postseason in mind? You know, B.A., I'm not a big fan of that. Of course, seeding is so important in the postseason, but I don't think it's time to start experimenting. It's still about winning games and getting into the best position possible. That shot wide open. Suggs has got five now. The transition three. It's part of the new NBA, and when he's taking them, it's a great shot. Outside Maxi. Back to Harden. The three. Another three for Philadelphia. Taking control of the tempo. Harden won't let the other team turn their last three into a run. Wagner outside. The three from Suggs. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Philadelphia has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Here's Abaji. To the left wing. Back to Harris. Pass to Harden. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Wagner. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. And the shot's good. Give him eight. The 76ers have got six of ten attempts to fall. And Philadelphia calls time here. And Franz Wagner, one of the surprises of the 2021 rookie class. He had a great rookie campaign, one of a handful of terrific rookies.
for the Magic. Stewart, he's checked in for Carter. And it's Isaac in for Wagner. Brents is checked in for the Sixers. Thibel comes in for James Harden. Here's Prince. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Embiid passes to Maxi. No good with the triple. Orlando has gone two for four from range to start things off. Here's Henderson. In his last outing, 16 points for him. Knocked loose. From deep. That shot, no good. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the Magic this year. Well, last year they swept the season series. There was a talent differential between the two teams. We'll see if that gap has narrowed. Yeah, these teams were not on even ground last year, but no matter what it looks like on paper, we see teams make big turnarounds every season. Okiki's checked in for Orlando. Anthony comes in for Suggs. The 76ers also with a sub. Melton's checked in. Here's Prince. Isaac covering. Shot clock at five. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, I know you spent a lot of your career in Orlando. What are your favorite memories of that time? None, B.A. You know I was hurt the entire time when I was in Orlando. No, but in all seriousness, there were great people, great city, and it was fun to see young guys like Jameer Nelson and Dwight Howard get drafted and emerge as great players and leaders for their ball club. And he knocks down the first one. When you think of the 76ers, Richard, they've had so many Hall of Fame players. Allen Iverson sticks out to me. Growing up, I loved watching AI play. And then when I entered into the league, I was competing against them. If you grew up in the 90s or 2000s, AI was the guy that just kind of changed everything for you. Hits both from the stripe. For Orlando, they've got 8 of 13 attempts to go. Here's Anthony. Yep, that one goes. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Melton with the ball. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. Isaac with it. Picked up by Embiid. Isaac, the pass to Anthony. Here's a Kiki. That's tipped. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Anthony. Here's Henderson. Fires in the triple. And it's an eight-point magic lead. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Now here's Thibel. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Releases. Offensive rebound. MB. Second chance effort. Prince with the bucket. Orlando has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Pass to Akiki. Anthony outside. Back to Akiki. It's Orlando with another. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. The 76ers have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Left side, Thibault. Melton attacking. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Isaiah Stewart. Shooting for Philadelphia. The Anthony Melton. Two shots. Shoot two. First one falls for him.
No good on the second, so he hits one of two. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out hustled so far. Fultz is good. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Pass to Abaji. Tipped away. Here's a Kiki. After the outside. There's the whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And he might not be the biggest guy on the court. Cole Anthony is explosive, Greg. He is. I mean, he surprises you with how much lift he gets. Fearless when he's going at the rim. He's caught a number of defenders off guard with that burst. Free throw drops for Anthony. So he gets them both. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Pass to Thibault. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Melton outside. Oh, nice D from Fultz. Orlando's gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. And Anthony slams it in. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Thibel. Oh, no good. Unable to end this run. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Pass to Stewart. After the outside. Four on the clock. There's Fultz with a three. And that's a foul called on P.J. Washington. That's his first foul of the game. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. Take a look at the best rebounders around the league. Fifth best, Joel Embiid. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. The 76ers have gone 7 of 16 so far. Out left to the wing. Back to Melton. Here's Abaji. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. Anthony misses. No question who's in control of the board so far. Who's watching you? Here's Melton. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's on Markel Fultz. Shooting for Philadelphia, the Anthony Melton. Taking two shots.
first one falls. And Melton drops them both. Stick with it. They're on a 16 to 7 run. Pass to Fultz. Hook loose. And so the ball out of bounds. Fultz touched it last. Thirty seconds left in the first. Melton against Fultz. Now Melton. In his last outing, eight points for him. And the basket by Abaji. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Now here's Anthony. Defense right on him. Comes up empty down low. The baskets were coming early and often in the first quarter. It's the Magic up nine. And we'll be back with you shortly. The 76ers. 25. Time for the 407. The second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the magic here in this one? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. Orlando leading. Taking a look at Philadelphia. We've got Tobias Harris. James Harden out there with Maxi. Then there's Jared Vanderbilt. Here's Van Carroll. Abaji with a rebound. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, Brian. James Harden with plenty of confidence said, not to brag or anything, but I'm really good at this game. I'm unselfish. I play the right way. I don't try to do anything I can't do or that doesn't benefit our team. And that mindset keeps me in a good place. Yeah. Yeah. Very self-assured, Allie. Thank you. And here are the Magic now. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Five to shoot. Stolen by Vanderbilt. Pass to Harden. There's the three. Kept alive. The three ball. Knocks down the long J. Harden's got 11 points. Nice start for him beyond the arc. He's already hit three triples, and I'm pretty sure there's more to come. Back to Anthony. Here's Ben Carroll. On the wing, Suggs. He's got five. Four on the clock. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Tyrese Maxey. Grant, it's a shooter's league, and we're seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B.A., the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. And that one misses. The Magic making a switch here. And the second free throw is good. The Sixers trailing. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Harden with it. Wagner picks him up. Here's Vanderbilt. No luck on that one. Oh, nice D from Carter. Here's Henderson. Defended by Harden. Harden. 
Wagner on the wing. Shot clock at six. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. They were lights out from beyond the arc, and they spaced the floor beautifully in that one. Tough to keep the consistency from deep, but they did it last time. Good D by Vanderbilt. Philadelphia has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. The three, here's Harris. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got his fourth assist with that last one. Pass to Suggs. Back to Wagner. Here's Henderson from outside the arc. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Credit to him for trying to get that three right back. Missed the shot, but that's a fighter's mentality. Up top, Harden. And it's all tied up. Harden's got seven now in this quarter. I love watching Harden work through these challenges, accepting contact and finding ways to score. Pass to Henderson. Now here's Carter, guarded by Vanderbilt. Here's Suggs for three. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Down low. Outside Maxi. Outside Harden. Goes up from the top of the key, and it falls Ooh. all over the rim and in. Harden's got 15 points. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. And Harden, a former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A., I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But season's success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. First free throw is good. The Magic making a switch here. Isaac's checked in. He's off on the second. Philadelphia has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Pass to Maxi. Back to Harden. And here is Maxi. Here's Abaji. Three-pointer, no good. Here's Henderson, defended by Harden. Henderson misses. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniff that one out. Pass to Abaji. Over Wagner. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And now let's take a look at the most efficient shooting guards in the league this year. Tyrese Maxey, third. I mean, just a terrific group. All of these players are in danger of getting red hot from outside at any given moment. And with their range, they stretch out opposing defenses. So even when they're not shooting threes, they're still making an impact. And he drops a first. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Magic have gone 0 for 6 in the second. Not looking timeout, good. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. 
And, and you know, I mean, they played with great energy all the way through. Exactly. Just fell a little bit short. And maybe if they were at home, their fans could have given them the boost they needed to get over the top. Suggs. Wagner outside. The three is up. Gets it to go. His second make in six tries. And with his height, the defense unable to impact the shot on the closeout. Out to the wing. Here's Abaji. Well, he's now two for seven after that bucket. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Wagner, the pass to Isaac. Now here's Wagner. Isaac outside. Over Harris. Tries again. And then Carroll gets it to go. And Carroll's got seven points in the game. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Outside Harden. Here's Abaji. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Three. Harden's got his fifth assist in this one. The list of guys who have led the league in points and assists, well, it's a short one. That includes James Harden, LeBron, Will, Oscar, amongst others. And it's Wagner missing. Nothing just seems to be bouncing his way today. Mama said there'd be days like this. They have missed his production. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. He's checked in for Wagner. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Embiid's checked in. One shot. Just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Orlando has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Isaac outside. Here's Henderson. Defended by Harden. And he makes it on the layup. 14 points for him. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Orlando and that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Okiki's checked in for Orlando. Thibel, he's checked in for the Sixers. Substitution on the court. Pass to Harris. Back to Harden. Clock at six. And that one's good. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Here's Henderson. Defended by Harden. Here's Suggs. It's Stewart. High post. All alone. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Smart decision to kick it out to another guy once the defense is fixated on him in the paint. Outside Maxi. Outside Harden. Back to Maxi. Fires for three. And it's Orlando with a rebound. 
Here's a Kiki. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Joel Embiid. At the line for Orlando, Juma Okiki taking two shots. Makes a first. Prince is checked in for the Sixers. Melton comes in for James Harden. And good on the second, so he makes a move. Timeout call the 76ers and as the coaches draw up their strategies the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade that's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer it really is and every one of those players knows it they're all making sure to stay hydrated it's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Back to Melton. Outside Maxi. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Markel Fultz. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. That 2020 draft is so deep. Tyrese Maxey going 21. Maxey is already a premier scorer. A steal that late in the first round. The first free throw is good. Tyrese Maxey, part of that loaded 2020 rookie class, Richard. At the top of the first, Anthony Edwards. He is an absolute star. So is LaMelo. Last pick of the first round, Desmond Bain can absolutely play. Like Maxey, though, Isaiah Stewart, Sadiq Bey are great picks in that 20 area. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Orlando trailing here. Here's a Kiki. Pass to Suggs. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. And he continues to cast away. But the results just haven't been there tonight. And that one's good. Maxi. Maxi's got eight points. You'd love to get the ball this close in every trip where you can almost just not miss. Here's Suggs. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Washington. And here's Washington. And he banks in the layup. Washington's got this first bucket of the night. He saw a path to the rim, and he took it. The defense just couldn't stop him. Melton passes to Maxi. Melton outside.
The shot won't fall. Oh, nice D from Fultz. Here's Suggs. Up and in on the layup. And now just a 1.76ers lead. Philadelphia has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Here's Prince. Pass to Theibel. Now here's Melton. Fires the three. Buries it from three. Six points for him. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor if you want to win. They have loads of confidence from three-point land right now. Now here's Fultz. Coming in off a 14-point game last time out. And yep, it's good. Okiki's got four points this quarter. Philadelphia has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Pass to Prince. Outside Tybal. Fultz against Melton. Two minutes to the right side. Shot from 16. That's good. From Embiid on the assist from Melton. And the 76ers lead by four. Outside Fultz. Back to Suggs. Left side Fultz. Pass to Okiki. Here's the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got five rebounds in the game. Now Melton. And it's rejected. And here's Fultz. A reliable offensive contributor. Putting up almost 14 a game. Now Stewart. Melton covers. And that one's good. Stewart. Exposing the defense and taking advantage in the paint. Maxi passes to Thibel. Melton on the wing. Embiid with it. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Embiid's got six. This is why they feed Embiid. His teammates trust his ability to get the job done. Fultz passes to Stewart. Washington inside. Prince is there. Washington's shot is good. The Sixers leading. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Melton on the wing. 19 seconds left in the first half. Tries it from the top of the key. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Melton's got five points now in the quarter. Oh, what a crafty move, causing the defender to pause right there. Misses from close range. James Harden, he's been the guy making things happen for the Philadelphia 76ers. And that quarter was all about him, leading the comeback charge. Now they're up in this one. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Joel, some fireworks early. What's going to be critical to keeping it rolling? Uh, just keep moving the ball. Uh, you know, get stops. And uh, I think the kids just moving the ball, playing together. We've been doing that. And uh, we've got some hot guys, and we got to keep feeling them. Ball movement is key, guys. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. Here they come, fans. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. We are seeing an outstanding game from James Harden. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Wagner and Boncaro at the forward slots. Then it's Wendell Carter. Then it's Chuma Okiki. That's who's out there for Orlando. Here's Okiki. Pass to Henderson. Wagner outside. Shot from the top of the key. And he hits the jumper for two. Wagner's got seven points. Now Vanderbilt. Here's Harris. Launches it. It's rebounded by Bancaro. Bancaro's got his fourth rebound in this one. They 
get it back. The shot misses. The 76ers shooting 54% from the field so far in this one. Harris passes to Harden. Back to Harris. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Bogner outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Over to the left wing. For the lead. Doesn't go that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Outside Maxi. Oh, what a finish in traffic. My goodness. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Also relying on his skill there. That's a nice move against Lang. Here's Henderson. He's got 14. And a nice finish on the layup. He's got 16. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Right side, Harden. Out to the right wing. Here's Embiid. It's hauled in by Henderson. Rough start to the second half for them, only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Offensive board. And it's Wagner missing. The 76ers have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. And Vanderbilt slams it in. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. This has not been his best quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the inside. Orlando calls timeout. Nice game. What a performance by James Harden. Okay, I'm going to take you guys inside the huddle, all right? The message from Coach is simple. Stop him. He's checked in. Oh, Anthony. We are getting deep in the season. Let's see the standings out east. You take a look at the 76ers. They're hoping to make some moves from the number five spot before the start of the playoffs. And of course, the Magic, they're in sixth place. Well, right now for the 76ers, they can really start focusing on their playoff preparation now. It's not going to be an easy road for them, but they've taken the first step. They'll be in the field. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. Here's Dan Carroll. Nine points in the game. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. Jared Vanderbilt picks one up. With an excellent balance of size and touch, he's a tremendous finisher right there inside. Offensively, Bancaro is a difference maker. Not just with the talent, but with his relentless approach. The 76ers making a switch here. One shot. Oh, 
Grant, you watch Van Carroll. He's got a rare mix of moves for a big man. Yeah, B.A., the perfect combination of size, strength, and skill. Crosses up defenders well, spin moves, excellent body control, and he uses his body to shield the ball when he's driving through the lane. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Pass to Carter. Anthony against Maxi. Anthony in the post. Back to Carter. Wagner for three. And the Magic again can't hit. And he keeps trying to get himself out of this rut. But maybe it's not meant to be. I focus on sharing it with his teammates at this point. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Here's Anthony. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Wagner up top. Tries a 10-footer, and he knocks the jumper down. Wagner's got four points this quarter. He's a tough fella to deal with when he gets below the free throw line. Harris on the wing. Back to Harden. Pass to Embiid. Takes a 13-footer. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got assist number eight here already in the game. Wagner, the pass to Carter. Got a piece of it. Here's Harden. He goes up again. And finished off by a lead inside. And it's an eight-point Philadelphia lead. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Orlando calls timeout. You know, only two players have won both MVP and six-man of the year honors. Bill Walton and James Harden. What's interesting is that they won six man of the year at very different stages. Harden was 22 and still growing as a player, while Walton was 33 at the tail end of his career for the Celtics. He's checked in for Wagner. And let's see who's been the best at the free throw line in the second half of the season. James Harden, number one. Over the second half of the season, he's been locked in at the line. And it's the Magic with the ball. Trailing by eight. Pass to Henderson. Back to Anthony. Out to the right wing. Just five on the clock. Here's Henderson. Ooh, he's Henderson. found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. Harris with it. Back to Harden. Over Anthony. Here's Abaji. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. He got in excellent position, then takes it right back up. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. Washington's checked in for Orlando. We've heard the cautionary tales in the past. Does it seem like players today are getting better financial advice, in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? Yeah, B.A., I, I think they're getting better financial advice, but I also think that the times that we're in 
I think there's more awareness. Players understand the pitfalls or potential setbacks. Uh, the social media, digital age, all the information's there. So players today, yes, they're making more money and I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money too. Prince has checked in for the Sixers. And how about that replay? Man, you gotta appreciate the hustle on defense. Oh, now that was a block. Some much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Now here's Embiid. Outside for Harden. Puts up a three. Good. And the assist to Embiid. Harden's got 24 points. After a tremendous first quarter, three trays, he's put in another. Back to Anthony. Takes the three. Knocks it down from distance. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Here's Prince. Pass to Abaji. Over Isaac. And it's blocked by Isaac. After the outside. Here's Henderson, Maxi covering. And then Bede with the block. Yeah, defensively, Embiid can take over a game with his reach. Big block from him there. Outside Maxi. And it's Orlando with a rebound. They say it's a make or miss league, and there are some times that you, you miss. And it's Washington missing. Philadelphia has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Outside Maxi. Who poked away. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. The Magic making a switch here. Fultz is checked in. Thibel, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Melton comes in for Harden. Here's Melton. Five on the clock. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Melton's got ten. Big ups to this coaching staff. Great play design there. Pass to Ben Carroll. To the left wing. Here's Anthony. Sweet little floater. Anthony's got five points in the quarter. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Here's Abaji. 13 points in the game. He's been off. Still, they're up, so not all is lost. Another shot. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Orlando, P.J. Washington. Take a break. Take two. break. Two shots. And that one falls for Washington. Suggs is checked in for Anthony. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Vanderbilt's checked in for Prince. And so Washington nails both of them. The Sixers leading. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team.
Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Orlando. Let's have another big round of On defense, the magic. Now here's Vanderbilt. He's got seven. Back to Melton. Six to shoot. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Fultz has got four rebounds now. Pass to Suggs. Fultz with it. Isaac outside. 4-3. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. Isaac's got his first three points of the game. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. Here's Thibel. That one's good for two. And the 76ers lead by six. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Outside Carter. 151 left in the third. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. Fultz has gotten a second bucket on the night. Philadelphia has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Fultz against Melton. Pass to Abaji. It's not going to go for him. So Orlando will take it the other way. Isaac with it. Dybul picks him up. Isaac, the pass to Fultz. A minute 15 left in the third quarter. Good D by Melton. Outside Vanderbilt. Pass to Thibel. Let's the three fly. Another three for Philadelphia. And far from the best shot, but all that matters is the end result. Somehow he sinks it. Outside Fultz. And here's Carter. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That's on Joel Embiid. There's no debate there. He got hammered. At the line for Orlando, Wendell Carter Jr. Two shots. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. And so Carter nails them both. There's 38 seconds left in the third. Man, the defender really went after Second team foul. Shooting for Philadelphia, the Anthony Melton. At the line for two. Free throw drops for Melton. And Melton drops them both. Orlando trailing here. Fultz passes to Isaac. Now Fultz. He's got five. From ten feet away. And it's Isaac with the basket on the assist from Suggs. Suggs has got five assists tonight. Melton outside. Pass to Embiid. Back to Melton. 
This one for three. He's off on that one. The third quarter comes to a close. The Sixers on top, up by five. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. Moment ago, head coach Doc Rivers in the huddle. Hey guys, come on. Let's close this floor. Let's close it. Got to pick up our pace. Got to pick up our pace right here. And Doc Rivers looking for a faster tempo, wanting to make a big push here. Well, he realizes when his team is attacking at both ends, that's when they tend to go on runs. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. We've got Maxi, Tobias Harris out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's James Harden. Here's Henderson. Here's Carter. On target from about 13 feet. A skilled big man with a developing jumper. Carter Jr. continues to show what he's capable of. So much potential with that young man. Now here's Maxi. Pass to Harris. Here's Vanderbilt. Out of bounds. It'll be Magic Ball. Magic Ball. Vancaro's checked in for Isaac. For your magic. Follow Vancaro. And it's the Magic with the ball. Pass to Henderson. Bogner outside. To the middle. Shots good by Henderson. Give him 20. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Harden, the pass to Vanderbilt. The shot, no good. Nice D from Wagner. Here's Van Carroll, defended by Harden. Pass to Henderson. Five to shoot. Shoots over Maxi. And another basket for Orlando. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Now here's Harris. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Here's Maxi. Got a hand on it. Vanderbilt, the pass to Maxi. Second shot opportunity. Harris misses. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Stolen by Harden. And now the Sixers on the break. Here's Abaji. Off target with the three. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. Here's Henderson. And it's Harris with the rebound. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Here's Maxi. Pass to Vanderbilt. Off the mark, and the drought continues for Orlando. They've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Takes a three. And another miss by Orlando. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Oh, got a piece of it. Here's Anthony. to Carter and he wills that one in sinking it right through the back of the iron and the Magic lead by three and here is Maxi here's Abaji the rebound by Carter Carter's got five rebounds tonight and he takes that one up and powers it through and adds a few more points to their lead showing off some style Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Now here's Harden outside Maxi from downtown. 
Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Back to Anthony. Wagner outside. Pass to Henderson. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Maxi. Henderson misses. Philadelphia has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. We got a piece of it. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ben Carroll. Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Joel Embiid. Outside Harden. To tie it up. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. No one does this better than Harden. Makes trouble inside and draws a good foul. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Magic. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. The south ball hard and lucky lefty. He's a tremendous offensive player who can pretty much get triple doubles in bunches. That one drops. He ties it up. The Magic have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Half to the outside. Pass to Henderson. Here's Van Carroll. Guarded by Vanderbilt. Wagner outside. Just five on the clock. Shot is up. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Here's Harden. to Embiid. Maxi with it. There's the drive. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Magic shooting at about 51% for the game so far on this one. Count it. 24 points for him. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. The Magic have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter to the paint. Here's Ben Carroll. The shot off that time. Good D by Vanderbilt. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Maxi. Nice D from Wagner. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. And it's in there. Showing some guts, taking on a guy who towers over you, and look, you're still able to get the lay in. Pass to Vanderbilt. Outside Harden. Here's Harris, and it's good. Off the back rim and in. The mid-range doesn't intimidate Harris at all. He's very confident in his jump shot. Now Wagner. Here's Henderson. Back to Wagner. From the arc. Nails it from three. And the Magic lead by five. After sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. Outside Vanderbilt. Harris passes to Harden. 19-footer. Again, Philadelphia. Orlando calls timeout. Magic timeout. Three t-shirts are headed your way. Stand and let us know if you want one. Here they come, fans. Your 407 Dance
Here they come, fans. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. Yeah, and what a game. Now, I'm not taking anything away from him. But I was actually surprised the defense wasn't able to do more, particularly early. By the time they figured it out, it was too late. He really got in a rhythm and got rolling and never took his foot off the accelerator. Suggs is checked in for Orlando. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard the Magic coach as he addressed his team. He told them, quote, we want that type of energy and focus. We might be winning, but this game is not over yet. It's a clear message, guys. Okay, thanks, Allie. Now here's Wagner. Right side, Carter. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Harden against Anthony. 13 feet out. Count the basket. And it's now only a one-point Magic lead. It's tough to defend that. The defense was there. Harden just makes a difficult, difficult shot. Back to Suggs. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Wagner against Harris. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. For Orlando, they've gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. 76 is foul. Joel Embiid. Fifth personal foul. First foul. team foul. Elbow. Two. At the line for Orlando, Jalen Suggs taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And the 76ers making a change here. Good on both. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Philadelphia has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Harris on the wing. Outside Harden. Pass to Harris. A steady score throughout his career. Harris is still drawing lots of attention. Second team foul. Shooting for Philadelphia, Tobias Harris. Two shots. No good on that one. He hits the second from the line. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Wagner outside. Pass to Suggs. Now here's Carter. Embiid covers. From 13. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Thibel, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Wendell Carter Jr. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. And he can't hit the second. 
The Sixers trailing. And here's Thibel. Outside Vanderbilt. Pass to Harris. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And this is the absolute wrong time to stop communicating. They have to get in sync. The Magic have gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Here's Henderson, defended by Harden. Oh, nice step back to create some space. 26 points for him. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality. Timeout called, the 76ers. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. Outside Vanderbilt. Back to Harden. Vanderbilt finds Harden. Six on the shot clock. Releases. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Harden's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Here's Henderson. No good that time. Harden with the defensive effort. Pass to Harris. Outside Vanderbilt. Yeah, this possession is make or break. They need points to stay within reach. And stolen by Vanderbilt. Outside Tybal. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. It's dead. Here's Henderson. And he lays it up and in. 28 points for him. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. This is what you expect from him. Just coming alive and dominating in effortless fashion here in the court. Just one word for you, and that is clutch. This guy, Harris, all he does is make plays. And it's the Magic with the ball. Following the score by Philadelphia. Pass to Henderson. Shot clock at five. The three from Ben Carroll. From deep. He's got a sweet stroke from long range. Plenty of bigs do now. Philadelphia has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Here's Harden. Cash. Game and Harden. now they trail by just four. This is what we've come to expect from Harden. Doesn't back down from taking the important shots of the game. And that's an intentional foul. By Reese Maxey. 44 seconds left to play in the fourth. Here's Wagner. And he battles for the ball. Gets his second chance bucket. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You got to be careful when guarding hard. He's so crafty at finding ways to draw fouls. At the line for the Sixers, James Harden. At the line for two. Two, two. Oh. 
So the first one drops, and that brings him within five. And the 76ers making a change here. Reed's checked in. Harden hits them both. And this is who you want at the line in a close ball game. James Harden. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And they go to the intentional foul. Maxi. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for Orlando. Henderson. Two shots. He gets the first, and that puts him up five. Prince is checked in for the Sixers. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. He knows how important it is converting at the line and building up this lead. And Philadelphia calls time here. They trail by six. And we've got 28 seconds left in the game. Who wants a teacher? and game clock separated by less than six seconds right side Harden and he buries it and now they trail by just four there's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter and now an intentional foul they need the ball back as soon as possible yeah no you had to do that I mean you can't allow them to dribble out the time at the line for Orlando Jalen Sutton Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that puts him up five. And the 76ers making a change here. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Vanderbilt. He shoots it. And it's in. Reese Maxi. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And now they foul and stop the clock. Fourth personal foul. Team is in the penalty. At the line for the Magic. Jalen Suggs at the line for two. Shooting two. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. And 
Scotty hits both free throws here, and it's a six-point ball game. Making no mistakes and putting some extra nails in the coffin right here. That pretty much do it. For three, Maxi can't connect. So the Magic win it. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Get, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame every one. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.